Graphic styles are a powerful and useful feature of Illustrator. Now you can use them in Illustrator CS6, CS5, etc., all the way down to version 10. Now the graphic styles that I'm going to be using in this tutorial are from graphicextras.com. They're a free set of uh, graphic styles. Uh, there's 10 of them in the uh, graphic styles set. And there are also many other graphic styles on the site, as well as, of course, on the web. Now, use graphic styles, just apply them to text or pass as well. And I'm just going to select a pass. But uh, first, before I actually do them, I'm going to quickly show you how to load the styles. Just go to the graphic style palette. And if you can't see that, that's in the window menu, graphic styles. And then go to the right side menu, open a graphic style library and select the open command. Right, we'll actually go and select a graphic style file. It's an AI file. I've already opened the file, so I'm not actually going to go and search for it. The file is actually uh, here. It's a library. It's uh, read-only, so you can't actually edit them here. But uh, as soon as you apply them to a pass, and I'm just going to quickly apply them now. These are the styles. Right, just go through the various styles that are in the set. As soon as you apply them, you'll notice they will go to the graphic styles palette over here. Just see them there added to the ones that come with Illustrator. This is in CS6, but like I said, works with other versions. I've actually set it to document to RGB. Uh, the actual styles are actually set with RGB. They will work with CMYK, but uh, um, the color is slightly muted uh, if you use them in CMYK. So, right, once I've applied them, you can also, of course, apply them to other shapes. So I'm just gonna quickly go and uh, go to another create a star shape and just apply them there. Now you can also like I say apply them to text as well. Of course you can also add to the style so if you uh, wish you can actually add live effects. There's a just go over to the effects menu and you can now of course add blurs and various other options maybe like 3D etc. Also you can modify the style and uh, styles are made up of well, you can make them up patterns as well as live effects and gradients. Now, many of mine are gradient designs, and you can also mod them, modify them via the appearance palette. You can't see that, that's in the window appearance. And you'll notice here that the gradient here, this graphic style, is actually made up of three fills as well as obviously no stroke. So, uh, you can modify the, the fills. They're actually blended by different blending modes. So there's like lighten here. And I'm just going to go that one, lighten again. And just by basically clicking on the gradient, you can actually bring up obviously this palette. Go over to the tool here and you will see the standard gradient tool come up. You can now modify the style. And of course, if after you've done all that, you want to save it, you can go to the graphic style and go new a graphic style and save that new style, which can then be applied to other paths.